to my channel today we will continue with chapter 1 electrostatic so in this video we will discuss on 1.4 charge in a uniform electric field so example 13 a particle with a mass of 5 milligram okay and carries a charge of 2 micro coulomb is held at rest in between two charge parameter plate okay so here we have a negative plate and also positive plate Okay, so based on this diagram, we notice that a negative plate is at the, at the top and then the bottom is a positive plate. Okay, so if they ask us to draw the electric field line, okay, for this parallel plate, meaning that the electric field line is from positive, come out and then enter negative. Okay, so this is the line where it comes out from positive and then it will enter negative. Okay, so this is the electric field line for the parallel plate, from positive plate to negative plate. Okay, next, calculate the electric field strength between the pair of plate. Okay, so for this case, we know that uh, this is a particle and they give you the mass 5 milligram. Okay, and it carries a charge of 2 micro coulomb. Okay, the keywords here is actually is at rest. Okay, so when the question say at rest, meaning that it's actually V equals to 0. When V equals to 0, A equals to 0. When A equals to 0, F net will also equal to 0. Okay, so we can use uh, Okay, so from here we notice that if let's say they want equilibrium, meaning that our uh, charge is actually force acting upward must equal to weight that acting downward. Okay, uh, so we can calculate F net is equal to zero, meaning that force electrostatic force acting upward must equal to weight. Okay, and F also equals to EQ and weight also equals to mg. So we want to find E. So E will equal to mg over Q. So we substitute into the equations where m is 5 milli. Okay, milli meaning that it's negative 3. Okay, but it's still in gram. Okay, so we, so we must time power of negative 3 from gram become kg. And g is 9.81. Q is the value for charge 2 micro. Okay, therefore, E that we will get is uh, actually equal to 2 24.5 Newton per coulomb. Okay, so this is the answer for electric field. Okay, next, if the particle move upward, okay, with the constant velocity, what would happen to the value of E? Okay, so the keyword here is actually V constant. Huh? So when V constant, again, A is equal to 0 and F also equals to 0. Okay, so actually it's a similar when F net equals to 0, meaning that the L is equal to our weight. Okay, and therefore our EQ is equal to mg and our E will equal to mg over Q. So you will get the same value of 24.5 Newton per coulomb. Okay, so here electric field strength remains the same because the net force is equal to 0. Okay, so therefore we say that whether it's at constant velocity or it's at rest, the value for electric field strength are similar. Okay, next we will go to example 14. Okay, example 14 is actually case 2. So figure shows that an electron moving a charged parallel plate with the speed of 5.45 exponent 6. Okay, so 5.5 exponent 6 is actually our ux. Okay, because initially horizon, it only moves horizontally. Okay, so our ux is 5.45 but uy is equal to 0. Okay, the electric field produced by the parallel plate has deflected the electron downward. Okay, by the distance of 0 0.1, 0 0.618 cm. So this one is actually the value for SY where it's equal to negative 0 0.618 okay, in cm. So I convert it into meter. Okay, uh, so this is the value uh, for SY. Okay, at a point where the electron exits. Okay, given the charge for electron is 1.6 exponent negative 19 and the mass for electron is 9.11 exponent negative 31 kg. So determine the magnitude of electric field. Okay, so electric field here is the value for E. Okay, so we can actually draw a, a table to show all the value. Okay, where we have now. Okay, so I draw a table. Okay, so here I have X and Y, U, V, S, a. Okay, where initially ux is equal to 5.45 exponent 6, uy is 0. 
okay and then vx will always equals to ux but vy we can use uy plus at to find okay sx is equals to uxt so from here actually we already uh, get our xx is 2.25 cm okay so we can substitute inside here 2.25 exponent negative 2 okay and then xy okay is equals to negative 0 0.618 exponent negative 2 meter okay okay ax will always equal to zero because there's no attractive force eh, that pull the particle to the right or to the left okay we only have y component so f equals to ma and f equals to eq equals to ma therefore a for y component is equal to eq over m okay so we want to find the first one is the electric field so we can use a y equals to eq over m to find the value of electric field so i rearrange back E is equal to MA over Q, where M, because this is an electron, so we substitute mass for electron 9.11 exponent negative 31. Okay, A we don't have, but later we can find it. Okay, Q is the charge for electron, is 1.6 power of negative 19. Okay, so problem here is we don't have A, so we need to find A Y. Okay, so now from the table here, we actually we already obtained a uh, UY. We already have sy and then we want to find a y okay so before that uh, we need to have the time first huh? okay so from here sx okay so we notice that xx is equal to uxt and xx is equal to 2.25 exponent negative 2 okay because it's in cm huh? and it's equal to uxt huh? ux is 5.45 exponent 6 t therefore we will get the value for t okay we will get 4.13 exponent negative 9 second okay so now we have u y we have s y we can we have t so now we can find a y so i will use um, s equals to u t plus half a t squared to find a y Okay, S for Y component is equal to negative. Well, why negative? Because of the direction is moving downward. Okay, so it's negative 0 0.618 exponent negative 2. And then your UY here is actually 0. Okay, so we don't need to write. Equal to half A. A is uh, negative. Eh? A Okay, a t squared t is 4.13 exponent negative 9 squared okay so a we will get negative 7.246 exponent 14 meter per second squared okay so the negative symbol here is actually shows the direction okay okay it's not decelerating because of the direction is uh, moving downward so a is negative huh? then we substitute into the equations where a is the direction okay so actually direction you don't need to substitute into the equations eh? okay uh, if you want to substitute meaning that later the charge also you need to put negative okay uh, so we just substitute 7.246 power of 14 eh? okay uh, so if let's say you want to put negative the charge also you need to put negative eh? so negative negative later it will cancel each other so finally the electric field we will get 4126 newton per coulomb Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, next, B. The speed of the electron when it exits the pair of power. Okay, speed here means that we only want to find the magnitude. Okay, we only want to find the magnitude. Okay, so since here we have electron, initially it wants to go to the horizontal because it's experienced electrostatic force, therefore it will move parabolic path, so it will move downward. Okay, so we want to find what is the final velocity when it exits the parallel plate okay so when you want to find vr the resultant of the, the final velocity you need to find first one you need to find vx and the second one you need to find vy okay so since we know that uh, vx will always equals to ux so our vx will equal to 5.45 exponent 6 meter per second so we need to find vy okay vy is equal to uy plus at where uy is zero so our vy is equal to a a is the 
value negative 7.246 exponent 14 and the time taken here just now we found is 4.13 exponent negative 9 okay uh, so our vy we will get negative 2.99 exponent 6 meter per second okay so again the negative symbol here is actually shows the direction Okay, where the direction for y component is moving downward. Okay, so the direction negative here actually is shows that it is moving downward. Okay, okay, next we want to find the resultant. So now we already found Vx and also Vy, so we can find the magnitude of the velocity. Okay, so V resultant is equal to Vx squared plus Vy squared. Okay, so you substitute all the value, you will get 6.22 exponent 6 meter per second. Okay, so if let's say you want to find direction, also can direction, we can use tangent theta, Vy over Vx and V modulus. Finally, the angle, we will get 28.75 degree. Okay, and step 5 is actually, we can sketch the uh, graph. Eh? So we know that uh, Vx is positive, but Vy is negative. So positive, negative, meaning that it will at the fourth quadrant or the angle is at um, 28.75 degree below the positive x exit okay so this is example 14 okay last example is example 15 huh? here we have a two pair of plate are separated with five millimeter the electric field strength between the plates here is one exponent four and then a small charge of positive four nano coulomb is moved from one conducting plate to another okay so calculate the potential difference between the plates okay here we have a two parallel plate okay and a small charge of positive okay for let's say this is a negative plate this is a positive plate positive charge here it will move from one conducting plate to another meaning that this one it will attract to the a negative plate so they ask us to find the potential difference. Huh? Okay, so our E is equal to change of the electric potential over D. Okay, so our electric potential difference is equal to E D. Okay, where E is 1 exponent 4, D is the distance between the plates. Okay, so this plate, the distance is actually 5 millimeter. Okay, so I will convert into meter 5 exponent negative 3. Therefore, the potential difference between the two plates is actually 50 volt. Okay, next, find the work done on the charge. Okay, so work done is actually equal to Q times the potential difference. Okay, so Q is actually, for this case, is the, the charge. This is the test charge where it's equal to positive 4 nano coulomb. And the potential difference just now we already found is 50. Therefore, the work done is equals to 2 exponent negative 7 joule. Okay? So that's all for this chapter. See you on next chapter. We are going to discuss a new topic, chapter 2 capacitor. Okay, see you. Bye.